Hi, it's me. Okay, so right now I am reading The Midnight Game and I'm kind of scaring myself to sh shitless because of how creepy it is. But I decided, hey, if any of you guys want to go out there and try it, here. So here's the entire thing. I'm reading it for Word. Originally I was going to have music, but um, the music kind of scared the shit out of me. So we're going to just do it with no no music. Okay. Let's begin. The Midnight Game. The Midnight Game is an old pagan ritual used mainly as punishment for those who have broken the laws of the pagan religion in question. While it's mainly used as a scare tactic to not disobey the gods, there is still a very real chance of death to those who play the Midnight Game, and there is even higher chance of permanent mental scarring. It is highly recommended that you do not play the Midnight Game. Oh shit, I'm feeling... I'm I'm feeling real cold kind of right now. Um, it's kind of hot in this house, but as soon as I said it, I just felt like a chill. I'm not gonna fucking. Shh. I'm reading the game right now. I don't see anything. Now usually I could click on the other. I could click on this other tab, and then I can see what I'm what I'm saying. But right now, um, what I'm doing is reading the actual rules. So that has taken over my whole browser and I just feel like really chilled like oh shit I shouldn't even be reading this. Okay. Um <sighs> fuck. It's highly recommended that you do not play the midnight game. But for those few thrill seekers searching for rest or those delving into obscure occult rituals, they these are the simple instructions on how to play. Do so at your own risk. Instructions. That was my Spanish. Prerequisites. It must be exactly 12 a.m. when you begin performing the ritual, otherwise it will not work. Materials required include a candle, a wooden door, at least one drop of your own blood, a piece of paper, matches or a lighter, and salt. If you're playing with multiple people, they will all need their own of the aforementioned materials and will have to perform the steps below separately. Step 1. Write your full name first, middle, and last on a piece of paper and put at least one drop of your blood onto the paper. Allow it to soak into the paper. Step 2. Turn off all the lights in the house. Go to your front door, which must be wooden, and place the paper with your name on it in front of it. Now take the t candle and light it. Place the candle on top of the, the place the candle on top of the paper with your n name. Step 3. Knock Fuck, it's light outside, and I'm still in my... Damn it, I'm in my house alone. Shit! Why the fuck did I read these in? Okay. Step 3. Knock on your own door 22 times. The hour must be 12 a.m. upon the final knock. Then open the door, blow out the candle, and close the door. You have just allowed the Midnight Man into your house. Oh, Midnight Man, I am not fucking with you. You know what? He's boss. I'm not fucking with him. Mm -mm. I wouldn't want to piss him off. Nope, nope, nope. Step four. After closing the door and allowing the midnight man into the house, immediately relight your candle. This is where the game begins. You, mu you must now lurk around your now completely dark house with a lit candle in hand. Your goal is to avoid the midnight man at all costs until exactly 3.33 a.m. Should your candle ever go out, then that means the Midnight Man is nearby. You must relight the ca candle within the next 10 seconds. If you are unsuccessful in relighting the candle, you must then immediately surround yourself with a circle of salt. If you are unsuccessful in both of these, the Midnight Man will then induce a, a hallucination of your greatest fear, which will last until 3.33. If you are successful in creating the circle of salt, you must stay within the circle until 3.33. You must continue until 3.33 a.m. without being attacked by the Midnight Man or being trapped within a circle of salt to win the game. The Midnight, mi the midnight Man will then leave at 3.33 a.m. and you will be safe to proceed with your, with your morning. Addendum. 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 No fucking... I, I don't know. <clears throat> 
Indications that you are near the Midnight Man include a sudden drop in temperature, seeing a pure black humanoid figure move through the darkness, and very soft whispering coming from an indiscernible source. If you experience any of these, it is advised you leave the area to avoid the Midnight Man. Staying in one spot throughout the entire game will only result in the Midnight Man finding you. It is highly advised that you keep moving throughout the game. Do not turn on any lights during the midnight game. Do not use a flashlight during the midnight game. Do not go to sleep during the midnight game. Do not use another person's blood on, on your name. Do not use a lighter to substitute, substitute for a candle. It will not work. And definitely do not try to provoke the midnight man in any way. That is all. Have fun. So to any of you idiots or th quote unquote thrill seekers, please try the Midnight Man game. I want you to try the game and then tell me about it in the replies. Tell me how you felt because quite frankly, I'm scared shitless. I don't know why you would want to do this fucking game. But if you did this game, hey, if you want to, you know, videotape it and put it in, in, in black or night capture or whatever the fuck they use in cameras, this is terrible. I'm a film student. I should fucking know this. Night vision. Yeah. That's what my 60 grand thousand... That's what my 60 grand student debt is. Yeah. Oh, great. Now I'm depressed. But seriously, if you're interested in playing that game, go right ahead. But be warned that there will be shit to happen. Okay? So... If you do it, try it. Tell me how it went. I will not, however, be doing it because I value my life. I do.